Hi, so I'm going to an interview really soon, which is why I have just decided to quickly do this video now um, before I leave because I haven't put any lipstick on yet so I can quickly film this video. Right, I'm just going to go straight in, I'm not going to talk loads of shit to you like I always do. Changing piercings, the Medusa, let's go. So I'm going to zoom you on into my face. By zoom I mean I'm going to slide the stack of books that my phone is on towards me. That's as high tech as it gets up in here, okay. Hello, so this is my Medusa piercing. There it is, you can see all my pores. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do to change your Medusa is get it out. It's not massively difficult, you have two options. Your first option is just use your fingers. So get your thumb on the inside of your piercing, like this, and then unscrew with your other hand or use some tweezers. I used to have some really great tweezers that went to a really fine point, but I don't have them anymore. I'm not sure where they've gone, but I'm gonna use these for now. Using those tweezers, grab onto your bar. I find it's easier to use the flat side along the flat of your face, like this. Grab on, and use your other hand to unscrew. Personally, I prefer to use the method where you just use your fingers. So the ball should just screw straight off, put the ball somewhere safe. Half the problem is going to be making sure that you don't just lose that ball. Push your bar back inside and take it out. And then you'll have your clean hole. You want to take your other piece of jewellery and basically there are two ways you can get this bar back in. So I'm going to show you both of them now. This first option is simply to flip your lip so if you don't want to see my lip being flipped look away now but use your fingers and flip your lip back like this bit disgusting but it gives you an idea and then what you want to do is you'll be able to see your hole and just slide it straight on in you flip, flip your lip and slide your bar in When you're done, you're going to have that trout mouth thing from pushing your lip forward too much. If you're not confident just getting in there and shoving that bar in, your other option is to, like, transfer the bar in. So, take your bar out, and you want to get a different bar. If it's a different colour, that's going to make this a little bit easier. And you put that in from the front. Like this. And then you take the bar that you want to have in the piercing and you're going to lift your lip the same way and transfer and swap the bars over. You're going to lift your lip. Let me just stress, this is going to be easier um, if your piercing is healed. As I say in every one of these videos, don't change an unhealed piercing. Don't do it. No, don't change. Now you have your bar back in, you are bish bash bosh sorted and you just want to put your ball back on. Assuming that you are competent and you haven't lost your ball, I lose my balls every day. It's actually every day losing balls in my life. Um, you've got two options. You can get your three options actually. You can get your thumb on the inside of your bread post and push your lip forward so you have something hard to screw against. That works best for me, so I'll demonstrate that for you now. And cup your lip so you can press against it. That's nice and easy. Or your other option is the tweezers. So grab onto the bar with the tweezers and then hold nice and tight and then screw so you have something to screw against. Your third option is not to use your thumb on the inside of your lip and simply make your lip nice and flat and just screw the ball on like this. So you get it on like that and then tighten it up. Your Medusa piercing is um, going to be more of a pain than other piercings because it's uh, kind of in a squishy part of your skin. It's hard to explain but it's going to be more difficult to change because of that. There is no point changing your piercing if it's not healed. All you're going to do is cause yourself extra pain, extra stress and it's just going to be really hard. So don't change it if it's not healed. Don't change unhealed piercings. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Any other piercings you want me to do? The piercings I haven't done yet are tragus, lobe, labret, conch. So if any of those 
are helpful to you then comment and I will be able to do them for you next. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the future. Bye!